Hi, did you realize that the last uphill battle is actually the hardest one to fight? Hi, I'm Linda Cromar, and you'll probably find me at lindacromar.com. I was uh, thinking about that as I was doing my walk this morning, and the reason why that came up is because I see those challenges so often. Sometimes when we are building our business, the challenges that we have are going to match where we are. Now, just to go back to my walking analogy, when I very first started my walking this summer, and I had not done it for a whole year, because first of all, it was because of the winter and my mother dying, and then later it was because I knew it was going to be hard. So I put it off, and I put it off. And finally, this last month, I have gotten back to doing it. Not as steady as I need to, but I have begun to do it. And of course, I had a goal, just like we do with our money goals. If you are working on making your athletic ability better, you have a goal too. Now, I didn't weigh myself or measure myself, but I could tell in my clothes that everything was starting to feel uncomfortable and I knew that I had to keep on I had to do something about it or I was going to get quite a bit bigger than I needed to be. Now I'm only 5'1 and even putting on another 30-40 pounds looks and feels awful and that's probably where I am about 40 pounds over. So it's not you know a huge amount of, my, uh, of weight. You know you see the great big things. And this is not a weight loss story in the sense that most people talk about, but about overcoming a challenge and how you want to think about it a different way. Now, I did something different today that changed how my walk went. Now, I start out when I get going, kind of the easier direction. It seems like the, the hardest hill is that last walk and it's coming up this big grade on the street and then turning around in another big grade up to my cul-de-sac where I live. And those two hills, when I'm already tired, are really tough. So I turned it around and I did those two hills going down now, it doesn't mean there wasn't any hills going the other way, but they were broken up and they weren't as hard. So it turned out that just changing a little tweak in my walk today, didn't do less of a walk, just turned around and did it the other direction. Now, how could you apply that today in what you're doing? You see, so much of the time we get ourselves so tightly focused in one direction that we don't realize that maybe just a little tweak, just a little tiny change might make a difference. Just a little different way of looking at things. Just maybe changing one little habit and you could possibly change a lot in your business. Just changing the attitude. It's not about how we do it so much as that we keep doing it. But we do also know that insanity, the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same things we've always done, expecting new results. We all, all know that that just doesn't work that way. Very often it means that we have to keep changing a little bit a little tweak here and a tw little tweak there. It doesn't mean you throw out your business and start from a brand new one. It doesn't mean that uh, what you're doing is wrong. It just means maybe the thought process might need a little tweaking. Or maybe the methodology that you're using might just need a little twist, a little different direction. That's why I share what I do with uh, my Lead System Pro. You can see a lot of people have made a decision already that it just means spending money. But it absolutely doesn't. You know, I have spent money, but it doesn't mean that that is how you earn what you want to earn. 
how you earn what you want to earn is to take your full energy in a different direction. When I did start my Lead System Pro, I also looked for the perfect mentor to help me. That was a different attitude than I had taken before. In the past, I had always just went for the business itself, whatever it was, and I didn't look at the kind of people that I would be connected to. But you see, it's one, two. It's not just the company. It's also the connection. It's also the mentoring. And some of it costs money. That's okay. That's how it should be. Now, I think that the employee attitude that so many people have, they forget that when you're in business, there really isn't. You cannot compare it to a job because it's totally different. So take a look at your journey today. Take a look at where you are today. Does it need a tweak? Do you need to turn around and maybe look at a different direction to get to the same destination? Because sometimes that's what it takes. And if you think that you would like to align with me and let's see if we can really build your business with the help of my lead system pro, then let's talk. This is Linda Cromar from lindacromar.com and I hope you're having an awesome day.